Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I obviously as you tell by the title, I got my turban extensions done. I got them at a salon called um, Bella Capelli, which is Italian, Italian main salon. But the salon is obviously not Italian. Um, it is very much in Australia in Melbourne, but I'm um, close to a town called Croydon, but um, it's a very, very small town, even though it was quite the hike to get to the salon from the train, from the train station. So Bella Capelli, I'm pretty sure that obviously the word Bella means beautiful, but I only imagine that Capelli means hair, so therefore beautiful hair. I specialise in extensions, but of course I do cater for um, every other part of the hairdressing industry part. I've got my um, taping extensions done from there, and they look quite fine towards the very end, but I did give them a little bit of a trim in the end. At the end, I will insert a little bit of a mini clip. So as for um, discomfort, I've watched on YouTube, you know, this morning, just before I left home, I was watching them, you know, the people who recorded the videos. I watched them um, putting these under their wefts in the tapings, and a lot of them make it look like they're causing the hair so much strain as I put the um, weft in. But as um, my hair, well, not my hairdresser, but the hairdresser who um, did my hair, Steph, um, she was so gentle with my head. I was wondering how the time she was even touching my hair. Um, the tapings did not feel uncomfortable at all, like I can feel her um, playing around the back of my head, which I do also have um, a little clip of um, a little Snapchat clip, so um, it's like gonna be, the screen's gonna be really cool. There's like a little 10 second Snapchat clip, which I posted to optimize um, Snapchat obviously. So um, you can't really see exactly what she's doing because she was standing behind me at the time, and uh, minutes after I sat down, I started Snapchatting it. So I would have um, definitely um, stuck around for the full service. And, Get my hair shampooed because my hair is a little bit greasy. And get my hair shampooed, blow waves, put the wefts in, and then trim it down to a good shape and open stuff like that. But um, unfortunately, I only had just enough to pay for the service. And from the colour, I figured that they did, they did colour the extensions to match my own hair. That cost me 40 bucks. The service for me cost me 380. But um, obviously, if you go to the different places, um, they cost either way more or way less. It just depends on the service. It also comes down to how much you put in. Um, when you get more than 40 pieces, obviously it's going to cost you that much more. I only got 40 pieces in, or maybe just under 40 pieces. But, but I only got like 40, less than 40 pieces in, so like three at the bottom, I think, and then a couple of rows up. Um, the very last one is here. And then I got a couple to the side. Um, yeah, this is literally the first time I've had tapings. I have never, ever, ever, ever had tapings done before. So literally a first time for everything. They honestly feel so light in my hair. They feel clinging to my scalp. Um, there is no pulling. I already know about um, the whole hair care maintenance thing. Steph had recommended um, that I buy their shampoos because they specialise in taping extensions and extensions in general. So she did recommend I still have a lot more money then. For hair care, um, I don't know if you recommend that I buy their shampoos, but uh, they say not to use any protein treatments, you know, supermarket branded um, shampoos in your hair because it can, you know, figuratively speaking, dissolve the, um, the bonds, and um, then you can just say goodbye to your extensions, you know, days after you just got them done. I already pretty much already brushed myself up on all the information, but she was very informative, and as she was attaching them to my head, she was explaining to me thoroughly. Um, I don't remember half what she said, but Pretty much everything I didn't do I had to do, like you know, when I wash, if and when I do wash my hair, um, I can't wash my hair from 24 to 48 hours, which is fine by me, that's where dry shampoo comes in handy. I can, um, when I do wash my hair, of course I have to um, dry it straight away, like I can leave the end itself to dry naturally, the um, actual bonding part or the tape part, I have to dry it pretty much straight away, so my roots are the first things to get dry, but the rest of my hair, I'm definitely allowed to use, um, you know, soothing, uh, Smoothing, smoothing treatments on, on the extensions because um, you know, hair extensions do not have oils naturally on there unfortunately. Um, we have to sort of um, make up for the loss of that part. So obviously um, just because they're um, sitting against or taped or whatever the case is to your scalp, it doesn't mean it's growing from your scalp. It needs um, the extra bit of nourishment down here. And I just also trim the ends just a little bit. I put no more than um, an inch of an inch and a half, only because the ends are very, very fine, as my hair is pretty fine anyway, but these extensions um, sit quite sparse towards the ends, they're very tapered. So yeah, I will obviously show you what the tapes look like. First one. So there you go, this one's sitting about um, just behind my head, on the top of my head. 
I'm gonna be very careful with that because you don't want to get too rough with them. So, um, this is what it looks like. Of course, as we all know that I'm with taping, they um, do sandwich your hair, so one on top and one at the bottom. Some surfaces you can get one on the bottom, like a little strip at the top that um, protects the top of the hair, of your own natural hair, so that um, the rest of your hair on top of it doesn't stick to it, um, or you know, reverse, so the breath underneath. No, the width on top is a plastic bit underneath. But mine, however, are very, very light, and um, my hair does hold. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Mine does hold quite well, so I've got um, double sided tapes. So I will obviously also show you the bag. They are, um, well, no, no, did I, no, no, did I take um, like an inch and a half off, but they are still adding to almost 20 inches long, inches, so. I'm going to turn around, and I hope they have um, a good angle. That's much better. But as you can tell, the um, ends are very quiet, very efficient, and a little bit so rather than sort of a V line um, take up. A V line line, if that makes any sense, which there you guys go. That is um, my wefts, um, my new extensions. As my own hair grows out, obviously the um, wefts will follow along. Um, so every six to eight weeks, I will obviously have to um, get them lifted back. Um, I can do everything I would do with my own hair. Cut it, um, like the cut from it, cut it, colour it, um, heat style it, so cut, cut it, colour it, um, curl it or straighten it, whatever heating tool I can think of, braid whatever and however many hair, friend hair cells I can think of. So basically um, I don't do hair treatment, so whatever I've done to my own hair um, or anything I can choose in extensions. Obviously a lot of people do get paranoid about getting wet, especially um, at the like beach or probably pools, or a home pool but at the beach. Um, some people would, you know, obviously stylists recommend that you don't try not to get it wet. So if you are the type to um, you know, do a lot of water activities, especially at the beach, um, I would either try and maybe like wear a, a swimmer's cap or just something that will um, protect the hair. That would be ridiculous, but you know, these are tapings or extensions in general, stay safe. But um, if you're the type to swim in the swimming pool, like for swimming lessons, obviously you'll get a cap anyway. But um, if you're just the type to um, swim around just for the fun of it, just to cool down for any hot weather, then a top knot bun um, or any form of um, like protective um, hat thing that you can wear will be working great. And I say um because obviously um the wefts um, they are very flexible but they do cause a lot of strain. If you haven't let the um bonds um connect um, and bond properly, and then it will slip out of your hair. So I'm gonna do a top knot to do a very very loose one. Because yeah, massive buns these days are so in trend. Just stop rambling now um and. I'm going to leave you off with this very awkward ending because I'm so good at awkward endings nowadays. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I have left out any information or if I spoke too fast and certain part of the information I will still below as much as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to doing some hair if I've got longer hair again. I obviously um, send me a permanent extension like you can get them removed but you have to get them removed by, for, for, by a professional. Or if you know how to remove them by yourself then I guess that's all going like. Okay. Removing something yourself and never hurt nobody. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to follow me on all my social media. If you follow me on all my social medias, it will be all listed below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in my future videos. Bye guys.